Project Insight is something S.H.I.E.L.D. has been working on in secret for a while now. Basically, next-generation helicarriers are linked together by satellites to detect and eliminate threats to world security before they even happen. Pretty cool, huh? I guess I shouldn't really be telling you all this in case anyone's listening and tries to sabotage the whole thing for their own evil schemes, but what are the odds of that? This is Agent Sharon Carter of S.H.I.E.L.D., Special Service. Well, not anymore, but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Let's start at the beginning. Captain Steve Rogers' morning exercise was interrupted by a mission to rescue hostages on one of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s mobile satellite launch ships. The crew had been captured by the extremely dangerous Georges Batroc, and it was up to Captain America to bring them home safe and sound. Unfortunately for Cap, his splashy entrance meant he'd literally miss the boat. He would need help from the all-around nice guy Brock Rumlow, along with his strike team, to ensure the rest of the mission would be nothing but smooth sailing. Hold on, Cap. I'll find a way to get you up here. I feel like I'm gonna sink right to the floor. Cap, Intel says Petrox on the bridge at the rear of the ship. We need to get to him. Pick them back up. care of that turret before it takes care of us. The bridge is just over this cargo bay. We need to find a way across. Duty calls. Surprised they haven't raised a pirate flag yet. I've always had a soft spot for a skull and crossbones. Well, ah, things aren't so bad. <laughs> I 
I guess order only comes through pain. What happens to guys who mess with shield? Access granted. Captain America had defeated Batroc and rescued the hostages, but was surprised to discover Black Widow going against orders by retrieving data from the ship's computer. Rogers demanded an explanation from Director Fury and was told about Project Insight, a plan to supposedly protect the world by connecting three helicarriers together. Disliking the idea because it would mean living in a world controlled by fear, Cap soon found himself on the run with Black Widow and his new friend, the Falcon. Together, they learned that high-ranking World Security Council member Alexander Pierce had turned his back on Fury and was going to use Project Insight to allow Hydra to rule the world. Oh, and then they ran into the Winter Soldier.
As the fighting continued, the identity of the Winter Soldier was dramatically revealed. It was Steve's oldest friend, James Buchanan Barnes. As a result of Arnim Zola's experiments, Bucky had survived his fall from the train and had been brainwashed to serve Hydra. After escaping from Brock Rumlow's strike team, Cap and his friends reunited with Maria Hill and Nick Fury to come up with a plan to stop Project Insight. Their only hope was to reprogram the helicarriers so they would destroy each other, ending Hydra's evil schemes. After many grueling battles, Cap and the Falcon approached the final helicarrier console, but found the Winter Soldier standing in their way. Please don't make me do this. You're my friend. You're not my friend. You're my mission. Take a ride. Calling me Bucky! Your name is James Buchanan Barnes.
Captain America and the Winter Soldier concluded their epic battle when Cap decided he didn't want to hurt his friend and refused to fight back. Project Insight was stopped when the helicarriers were brought down, but in the process, the entire S.H.I.E.L.D. organization was also completely destroyed. Sure didn't see that one coming. Oh, but it's okay. I got a new job. I knew you were worried about me. Captain America and the Falcon fell from the helicarrier into the water, but were saved by Bucky. Maybe there's hope for him after all? You're probably wondering how I know all this. Well, let's just say I live next to Steve, and I'm kind of a nosy neighbor. Do you want me to write this down?